Hey, happy holidays. This was the last message Bob shared with his loyal followers. He's sending you guys lots of love. It's been a hard year. If you're alone, try to look at positive stuff. Bob had just posted this photo from his stand-up show in Jacksonville, and he said he was loving every minute of being back on the road. He was in this Orlando hotel when authorities got the tragic call. It's going to be for a male patient. Caller's advising it's an obvious death, not breathing, no pulse. Bob was found in his room at the Ritz-Carlton by a housekeeper after he had missed the checkout time. Authorities reveal they don't suspect foul play. They said there was no sign of drug use. Bob did just talk about a secret diagnosis of COVID on the podcast A Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan last week. It is not good. It does not feel good. I don't know if I had Delta or uh, I, I might have had a combo. Maybe at one point they were working together. Comedian Tim Wilkins opened for Bob for his final stand-up shows. And Tim, you interacted with Bob backstage. How did he seem to you? He was in beyond great spirits. He did an hour and 45 minutes on Friday and two hours on Saturday. And you only do that as a comedian when you're having a good time and the crowd is. So he, he was in good health and good spirits. Bob's daughter, Aubrey, shared on Instagram the final text message she got from her dad. Thank you, love you, showtime. If I have the time and somebody needs something, yeah. that's kind of where I'm at. Our last interview with Bob was just a little more than a year ago in the middle of the pandemic. Hopefully soon, we can all get back to normal. Yeah, or it'll be different, but I don't know what it'll be, but I'm gonna make people laugh. I mean, I, I, I have to do it. Bob spoke from his home and he cracked a joke about one of his best friends. You and Samos are pretty tight. Yeah, I don't, don't use the word tight with John no. and me, uh, if you could, because yep, uh, yep, that's, that's I'm, I'm his elder. They rocketed to fame together in the 80s on their breakout show, Full House. Dad. And today, John and the rest of the cast posted this photo. An emotional John wrote on Twitter, I am broken, I am gutted. I'm in complete and utter shock. I will never, ever have another friend like him. I love you so much, Bobby. Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, who played his TV daughter, said he will continue to be by our side to guide us as gracefully as he always has. Lori Lachlan told us today, words cannot begin to express how devastated I am. Bob was more than my friend. He was my family. Bob was known not only as a TV family man, but also for his filthy stand-up. They said, you're a funny It's been quite a journey. He talked with us in 2014 about how his own family's tragedies actually shaped his comedy career. My father lost four children, which is just a lot of people. And uh, my dad lost his younger brothers. And the way we dealt with all of these losses since I was about nine years old was through comedy. And he became emotional in 2018, opening up about the loss of one of his inspirations, Robin Williams. It was like no one else passing. It was, you know, one of the greats of making you feel good or taking you into a story as an actor or making you laugh. Today, more friends are reacting to Bob's sudden death. His friend Suzanne Summers got the terrible news while she was live doing an interview on Australian TV. This is a shocking loss. And I'm hearing it from you. I can't believe that he's so young. So, so sorry. He was a great guy, really nice. The Views Whoopi Goldberg revealed how hard the news hit her. But this last week has been really rough to process. I'm not sure that you ever really do, but it was a tough one. Fellow comedian Gilbert Godfrey talked to GMA. I still feel right now like I'm waiting for the punchline to happen, that it was all a big joke, it was all a hoax. Today, Bob's family spoke out saying they are devastated, but adding, we invite you to join us in remembering the love and laughter that Bob brought to the world. And we are remembering some of Bob's final words to us. Somehow, as we go into 2022, have some love and some connection with people, even if we don't agree with them. Lots of love. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.